Hello, my Pottery Posse. How are you today? I hope you're doing great because every day is a great day to play with some clay. And today we're going to be playing with this motorized power pottery wheel. <laughs> it says it includes tools to create the perfect pot. I'm a little skeptical. So we're going to have to see how this goes. Let's go ahead and look at the wheel. Here it is. And as you can see here, there is a power on and off switch and then a hole that goes to our pedal which kind of looks like a seashell and it plugs in with an aux cord weird here's our pin tool which looks nothing like an actual pin tool okay sure and then here is our knife tool which okay it's it's all right and then this is our wire cutter <laughs> which is just a piece of plastic. Then we've got this little guide. This is to help us gauge how high we can make something on the wheel. Joke's on you though, because you can't make anything that tall on this wheel. I tried. Then we've got ourselves some paints. I have no idea what kind of paints these are. And it comes with a tiny paintbrush, which actually is not going to do you any good because it's tiny. Comes with a sponge and two packs of clay. Now it didn't come in this little plastic baggie. It came in this. And this one is still nice and squishy, but the one in my bag is hard as a rock. Then we have this well maker type thing. And then this is to enlarge the well. Now you've got this weird little clampy type thing and it's supposed to help you form the walls. So it kind of just hooks onto the wheel just like this. And then you take your well maker and stick it in there and then you take that out and then put the widener in there and it's supposed to give you quote unquote the perfect pot. I don't know about that. But here it all is put together. We're going to test this out today with kiddos. Yay! Okay, first things first, we have our clay. Now let's get acquainted with the wheel. You see this? We can go on like this or off, okay? So we're gonna wait to spin this until we get our clay but on here. But what is this one at the top? That is for our pedal, which we're not gonna use. Okay, oh. so what I want you to do is don't flatten it, but I just want you to stick it right here, right in the center. Now push it down just a little. Yeah, we gotta make sure that it's really stuck. Can you make it stick? Mm -hmm. Nice job. Yeah. Okay, now turn on the wheel. <laughs> okay, pause. Can we just talk about how loud this thing is? I mean, seriously. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get it wet. Mm -hmm. And I squirt it on top. Perfect. Okay, you're done? Mm -hmm. I see. Put both hands together like this. And then we're gonna cup around it. Can we cup around it? Uh oh. Okay, can you turn it off for me? And it's already come unstuck, which, by the way, is not her fault at all. Ooh, hands are dirty. <laughs> Now what I want you to do, we're gonna take this guy, and then what I want you to do is have one hand cupping around the side. Uh-huh. Like touching it? Touching it. And then I want you to aim for the center and put this down into the center and push down. So you're gonna have to hold real nice and tight because it'll wanna slip out of your hands, okay? Right in the center, and we're gonna push down. and I'll tell you when to stop. So these plastic things were kind of a bust, which you will see in a sec. You gotta push pretty hard. Okay. Let go? Uh-huh. Go ahead and turn it off. Oh, good deal. Sometimes plastic and clay don't like each other and they stick. So it's really hard to get it off. Not completely unusable, but hands work just as well. Okay. Now do I put this on? Let's see if that'll fit. It's a tricky no, hat. it's still not gonna fit. Okay, since we can't use that, what I want you to do is we're gonna use our thumbs. Push our thumbs down inside with our fingers on the outside like this, okay? Oh, that's gonna be fun. Okay, are you ready? Like, like this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you ready for it? Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead and turn it on, my dear. Okay, 
Now? Go ahead. Thumbs down in the center. Uh huh. And we're pushing the clay. So we're pushing down with our thumbs. And we're pushing in with our fingers. Oh, Good wow. job. Wow, girl, look at how deep that got. Wow. That looks great. We're gonna slide it off like this. And this is your creation, my dear. Okay, here is hers and it came out so precious. As you can see, I didn't use the clay that came with it because I didn't know what it would do in the kiln. And if it's air dry, it's gonna explode. I don't know if you heard or not, but uh, that wheel was having a really hard time with the amount of pressure that has to be put on it to make anything. And the tools I gave definitely didn't work. So uh, let's try this again with our second kiddo. And we're gonna get the clay a little bit wet. So okay? I have to get this. Uh-huh. Now put it on the clay. Mm-hmm. We push it down. We're gonna cut this hand around here. We're gonna hold that and that hand real nice and firm. We're gonna push right down in the center. Like this. Hands together like this, and your back of your thumbs are touching. And we're gonna put thumbs down inside and fingers on the outside. Very nice. Uh-huh. Just thumbs down. Very nice. Can you do that for me? Gently hold it on the outside. Very nice. Now what I want you to do is we have to angle our hand down, okay? And we're gonna Push those two together. Very nice. Up one. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off and then we're gonna go to the big wheel. The big wheel? The big wheel. Are you ready for more fun? Yes. Yes. Be ready. So that went a lot smoother than our first friend, but I think that's because he watched her the whole time and he knew what to expect. Now he is much younger than her, but they both did a phenomenal job. And if you want to see them use that big wheel, you'll just have to come back next week. Are they so cute? I would personally say that um, the kids pottery wheel is a lot of fun for little, little kids who just want to get their hands dirty with some clay. It's not the most sturdy. It is made of all plastic. And I do worry a little bit about water getting down like into where the motor is. So we'll see how long that lasts. I would not suggest putting their version of clay in a kiln because I have no idea what it's made of. I don't know if it is rated to go in a kiln and at that, what firing it would be okay at. If it is actual regular terracotta, I assume it would be okay in a bisque and in a low fire, which is the same temperature as a bisque. But again, I wouldn't risk it just in case because air dry clay in a kiln is really bad news. Let me tell you. If you just want to have fun with a wheel, um, I would say get one of those little bitty wheels that you see on Amazon where they make minis. That's so cute. Maybe that's a video I do in the future. Now, let's see what those kiddos actually thought about using the kid's pottery wheel. What the heck? This box is... Do you need some help? <laughs> Don't. Right. Okay. <laughs> is this my other bowl that I made? Mm-hmm. So is this one the, the one that I made from the tiny mm -hmm. one, the tiny pottery? It sure is. Well, they didn't really give us a full explanation of what they thought, but for the full interview and to see what they made on the big wheel, go ahead and watch my next week's video. But I guess that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you loved it, make sure to subscribe because it helps me out and it's free. <laughs> Maybe like it too, because that's free also. Um, if you have any questions for me, make sure to comment below because I usually try to answer everything. If you wanted to see another video of mine, you could watch it right here. But that is it for today, folks. So I will see you in the next one. But 
Until then, stay creative, my friends.